All right, guys, we got lab five through here, and it's not too difficult. We just need to display numbers zero through 10 and their uh, products of being multiplied by three and 12. So we're gonna start here with uh, some declarations. I've just used this for headings because when we get it outputted, I wanna have it organized. And I'll have like a heading on the left, one in the middle, one on the right, and then you know the numbers will fall beneath in a nice kind of table layout. But uh, we're gonna use a number counter to count through those numbers, zero through 10. And we've got a variable for when it's multiplied by three and 12. Now in the book, you'll notice that these are different. So go ahead and change that. And wherever else it says three and 12, those should be different numbers. Um, this is just gonna tell like the user what's going on. And then uh, there's really no input here. It's just you know gonna output the heading one, two, and three, those up there. And then uh, we're gonna go into the for loop and the for loop's gonna do everything we need it to do. It's gonna output all the numbers. And uh, so each time it goes around, you know we've got the counter is going to increment by one. So it starts off at zero. It's gonna you know output zero. So you can see out, outputting that you know counter, and then we we're also outputting it multiplied by three and by twelve. I've got the C out width and a number there uh, just to kind of space things out a bit. And I've chosen eight here because I want the left column. <clears throat> I want that to be kind of spaced away from the edge of the screen here. If it's not, once you get down to double digit numbers or, or triple digit numbers or so on, <clears throat> it'll start to move everything over. It forces everything to kind of move one space. And then you have like, you won't have alignment. So I just go ahead and take care of that and put some space there. And um, you know, each time we go through, we're going to use our equations here, number counter, um, and it'll be by three. So it's multiplied by three, obviously. And then 12 multiplied by 12. And so it's just going to keep running as long as the number of loops, it, you know, number counter is not greater than the number of loops. And then we end. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this real fast and check it out. Oh, there we go. And actually, I guess we can do, yeah, <laughs> I put number of loops at 12. You can do 10 or whatever you feel like doing. Um, okay, yeah. So you can see it's a nice table layout. All of the math should work. You know, one times three is three. One times 12 is 12. And uh, it just looks nice. And we've used a for loop to make everything you know, work on its own and output all these numbers and their products. So not too difficult, pretty easy problem here. Um, and I think that's about it for this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.